In this video, we're going to take a look at how this beautiful blowout pour painting was created. We're going to see how all these gorgeous textures emerged and these pebbling effects. This was a really fun project and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. So thank you for being here with me today. This is the consistency of my paint. It really does not leave a trace. It's pretty thin and I in general like to use that same consistency from any paintings that I do with a blow dryer. Here are some of the colors that I used in this project. But of course, you know, you can either go get these exact paints or you can just get other colors that you like or other brands that have a similar coloring that you like. This is the old formula of Artist Loft. I still actually happen to have some of that left. Lucky me, but unlucky that I am getting really low. And I also used that Amsterdam Expert Series color as well as Amsterdam Black. My Amsterdam Black is mixed with a little bit of Aussie Floetrol. I don't show that per se, but I will be using that just ahead and you'll be seeing that. I also use this Atelier, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Interactive Gold Paint. I've honestly never been able to get this paint to actually do some of the interactions that I have seen other people get with it. I did mix it with a little Aussie Floetrol again, just in case, as I have done other times, but I've never really gotten that to work out. Although I do actually have empty squirt bottles laying around for some reason, I never feel like filling them up with my paint. Uh, even though I, I know when I see other people do it, I really like how it seems like it would be really easy to do, but I just find myself gravitating toward either pinching my cup and making a little spout or using a spoon like what you are 
seeing here and just controlling to the best of my ability the approximate amount that I want to put on the canvas. We'll be doing the initial blow dryer work where I push the, uh, the bits of the base color in toward the center at first. Letting it sit for just a moment. And then going for the initial actual blowout. Now I'm starting to see some amazing cell action taking place down in that lower area toward the left. And here's a close-up shot on what this initial blowout looks like at this point. I'm going to be doing some mouth blowing just up ahead, but I wanted to show you what this looks like to begin with, a little bit closer in before I did that. And then just blowing gently to create extra wispiness in the areas that I would like to create them.
very carefully. I, I like to go very cautiously. I'm sure most of us have that approach. We can always do a little bit at a time, but if we take things too far, then we have to either try to do something to fix it if we don't like what happens, or in some cases, it just you know might need an even bigger type of fix. I think I'm, I don't know, it's kind of nice and maybe I should leave it, but I wonder if it might be prettier if it just kind of fanned out a little bit more. I really like how this turned out and that's really pretty. I like all of these details that are coming to be. I had wanted this to be a little more feathery, but I actually kind of like the way that it came out instead. It's different than I was imagining, but I do, oops, I do like it. That gives it a nicer flow. I might like it if I could just get this to come up a little bit, but at the same time it's really nice and there are a lot of really nice little cells in there. I don't know if I might mess those up if I blow them. I think that's really neat how that is, but if I could get the top edge to blow out a little bit, at least if it would look the way I'm envisioning in my mind, I would like it very much, but I'm not entirely sure it would actually go that way. I have to think about this for a minute, if I should leave it. Look at these beautiful pebbly cells that came out in there. That's just so neat. I really love that. Okay, so I'm... I'm concluding that I think I actually should leave this alone um, because I do like it just the way that it is and it, there, it is a little unusual. Some of the things that have occurred are a little unusual and I think rather than try to go for something that was in my mind, um, I, I think I need to just appreciate that this is a pleasing composition. The flow is really well balanced. It's really pretty. And I think I need to leave this alone. I think this is one of those things where if I try to push it, I'm going to ruin it. And I'm going to be really mad at myself that I didn't stop right here. Another thing I'm noticing is that the way that this darker turquoise came out with the effects that it has, minus the gold part, because there's that um, Art Artillier gold popping through there a little bit and that gold doesn't pop through here but we have the same or similar type of effect with this darker turquoise it's a metallic and this looks really neat it just it really reminds me of a flow of the ocean it's really cool beautiful pebbly cells that came out in there. That's just so neat. I really love that. I really love this. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but I am digging it and I'd love to hear what your opinion is. So go ahead and share that with me below.